Dennis Brown again, and uh, for Firefly Guitar Fans group on Facebook, and um, and uh, here with a pretty cool guitar. This is the prototype. Um, it's a Firefly LP version. You can't say the other words. We can say it's the LP version. But um, pretty good guitar. There's some things about it I really, really like, some things about it I don't like. Um, and this is the first look. I've, I've, I've literally had less than half an hour with this guitar. The strings that are on it could, there's, at any time, could give me blood poisoning. They're the original strings, and they are just rusty. Uh, but it's a prototype. They've been messing around with it in the factory and swapping out different pickups. I'm actually surprised it's in as good a shape as it is. Um, and it looks slightly different than this camera makes it look. This camera makes it look like it's blue to blue until I get like this and you can kind of see it's actually very purple to blue. Um, so let's start from the top. Tuners. Well, fortunately that wasn't on the guitar. Tuners. Um, good, you know. They're replacing them. They're actually going to upgrade them already from what they put on this prototype. They told me that. Um, the logo looks okay. They're changing that. That's going to be uh, different when it comes out. Um, um, the nut, very good. I'm pretty sure that's a bone nut. And uh, unlike the last prototype I got, this one is perfect. I, I don't need to adjust or I don't need to do anything. It's perfect. Binding on the neck is very, very good. The um, binding on the body is kind of thick. It's a little thicker than I'm used to. That looked bad. It's just a little thicker than what I'm used to. It's probably a millimeter thicker than, say, on my um, Epiphone Les Paul. The, uh, I'm going to take this off. And by the way, in all my first look videos are more talking than playing. You'll hear a little bit, but really this is kind of about the impressions and the technical information. You can see the heel here, which is very what you expect you know it, it's it's a a you know it looks like it's a very good joint I don't see any finished cracks or anything there the wood I have to get the angle just right and you can see you can see the grain you can you can kind of see the grain come come through here it doesn't look like it's a bunch of slabs glued together um, it's mahogany this is mahogany um, nut is bone um, the pickups are supposed to be the same thing that they sent me from the last video um, they sound a little different, and I don't think it's just, the, I don't know if it's just variances in the pickups or what, but um, I, and the, the one thing I don't like, I liked the prototype pickups that I were sent. The only bad thing about these, these will squeal, you got to, just like the other ones would, uh, they seem like they're a little easier to squeal than the other ones. I had to really crank up the gain and stand in front of the amp to get them to squeal. Um, so it's not a major problem, but if you want really, really, really high gain, these are probably not the pickup for you. Um, for getting good, you know, distortion, and I call that moderate distortion, you know, it, it, they sound great. Supersonic 22 through a couple of Celestian Vintage uh, 30s. Um, good rig, you know, it's a good rig. And um, for gain, uh, I'm actually running just straight through the clean channel, which is a pretty close approximation. The power stage is exactly the same of a deluxe reverb, essentially, because the power stage for that is exactly the same as the deluxe reverb. I'm using a Boss ME50, which is like an ancient um, uh, multi effects pedal. So I, we're not using anything exotic, um, you know, for the, for the game. Seen that, um, you know that I like the pickups. They're, they're 
for the price range for anything under $200, um, they're very, very good. They're just not a heavy metal pickup, knowing that going, going in. This has a plastic, and it's, you know, they all do in that price range. I still like metal better, like they did on the Telecaster. And I wish they would switch that to metal. Um, a lot of people, well, I don't know if a lot of people like it or not, uh, plastic or not. I kind of doubt it. I think most people would rather have that be all metal. Um, the choice of um, colors, excellent. Um, the phenomenal thing, and I'm going to unplug so I can show you, is this flaming. Um, The book matching is very, very good. The quality of the flame itself is very, very good. There's kind of a graininess to it. It has kind of, it looks like a wood. Um, even though the, with the finish, it's obviously not. You see some of that purple starting to come in now uh, on there. Um, I'm very impressed with the flame job of what they did with, with that. And the finish, the colors. It goes from purple to blue. Once again, you can't really see it um, in the proper color perspective there. Um, bridge is good. Um, stop bar is good. Stop bar is kind of located wrong. <laughs> it's a little farther back than you would typically see on this style of guitar. So it's probably three quarters of an inch farther away. Now. For some of you, and, and, I, and I've already been told, this first batch they're going to be like this. And then the second batch they're going to come in and put it in the traditional place. They'll move it forward. It's, it's not that big a deal, but they've already punched the holes. Um, it doesn't bother me. I mean, because I don't, I, I, if I wanted a traditional Gibson, I'd buy a traditional Gibson. I, I just wanted a good guitar, and, and this is a good guitar. Having it farther back actually reduces the string angle and it certainly doesn't hurt the tone. You got to think of how many of these type of guitars that have trapeze tail faces, um, which would even have the strings you know, farther back. So this is kind of halfway between a traditional stop bar and a trapeze as far as placement. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to be a matter of preference. Either you can live with it or you can't. It doesn't bother me. Um, so, you know, um, I'm just happy way that it is so um, but like I say second batch they won't be doing that anymore I'm gonna try to get you you can see well you see the reflection of everything in my room is what you can do and open me on the computer um, there is just no good way to get it to where I can you can really see you're getting glimpses of the wood I, I, it almost looks like it's one piece I just I can't believe that it's a one piece, so I'm not going to say that it's a one piece. I can't find a seam. That's obviously two piece book matched on top. Um, 001 is the serial number, of course, because it is the prototype. Let's do this. Just what everybody really likes to hear, believe it or not, all the requests I get are always for the. <laughs> that's on the bridge and um, let me throw this on right quick for those of you that don't know I had my entire shoulder left shoulder rebuilt uh, very major surgery about a year ago and I'm still it's why my guitar playing is not what it used to be uh, and probably never will be but you know um, that's life that's you, you get I'm in deep into my 50s that's just life same pickups it had more jangle that's why I'm I'm kind of wondering about the deal with the pickups I don't know if it's just variances within the pickups that they're manufacturing or maybe they didn't put in the new pickups in this one these are the old ones um, <laughs> sound good. I mean, it, they just don't have that same exact tone. Uh, 
I'm shocked these aren't going out of tune. They've been just giving me fit. It is the strings, it's not the guitar. Um, let's cover some other quick points. Fret ends. Because it's got binding on it, that takes away a lot of the problem with sharp fret ends, uh, just because of how they're manufactured. So it's smooth as a baby's bottom. The frets themselves look really good. I mean, they look they look as as good as any Epiphone or Gibson or anything else. I mean, as far as the the height on them, I don't I'm, I haven't heard any buzz, and and, and then, I'm sure they're not perfect, but um, you'd be hard pressed to find a need to uh, to do any fret work on, on this guitar. Um, hopefully the production ones are the same. So time will tell us. But you're probably going to put something else in it. But I think for 98% of the people that buy these, they're going to, they're going to find that, yeah, you know, it, it does. I mean, it's a nice, jazzy. Just really smooth sound. And uh, I've also been told that these have standard pots and they're not going to do that um, for the production run. It's going to be um, the nicer pots like they put in the juniors. And, and I uploaded some photos um, to the group uh, there on Facebook. Uh, so it's going to be um, the nice fat pots with the great big caps and all that is, is what it should be. It's, it's, that's what they're telling me. So you can't really hold me to it. But we'll find out soon enough as soon as production starts. <laughs> nice even tone like I say I like it I think you'll like it too I'm not sure that the colors that they're going to do um, this is a um, purple burst and once again I get certain angles and you can see it better this is the purple burst um, beautiful wood um, uh, with the you know the, the vintage colored uh, knobs and such um, there'll probably be some other kind of sunburst. I don't know if it's going to be a cherry sunburst, tobacco sunburst. Uh, I recommended that uh, tea burst, um, which everybody went nuts for uh, on the 338s. You know, uh, it's, it's a really good looking finish, and I think that it would do really well with this. But um, we'll see. So keep an eye out. Keep uh, your ear, you know, to the uh, to the uh, the group itself, Firefly Guitar Fans. And as soon as they hit the U.S. shores, you'll know it. That'll give you a couple of weeks' notice, and then they'll hit the stores, and you can get your own um, Firefly LP. Mm -hmm. 